Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to be talking about how we can take what we've learned about creating fractions on a fraction strip or like in a rectangle to how we can now transfer that knowledge to fractions on a number line. So our learning goal for today says I can place fractions on a number line with the end point as 0 and 1. So that means we're going to be placing fractions that are between 0 and 1. Nothing larger than one whole in this lesson. So the materials that you'll need are your dry erase board. So make sure you have that before we get started. All right, so let's relate a fraction strip to a number line. So we're gonna draw a fraction strip and we're gonna draw a number line below that that's a little bit longer than your fraction strip. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's my fraction strip and then here's my rectangle that's a little bit longer than the fraction strip. So go ahead and pause the video, draw a rectangle, any size is fine and then draw your number line just a little bit longer than that. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so here, here's our next step. So you should have your fraction strip and your number line. We're gonna make a small mark on the number line where the end points of your fraction strip are. So you're gonna take like your pencil and go to the very end of each, the start and the end of the fraction strip, and then you're gonna draw a line. Then you're gonna label it as one and zero. So notice how this is where the start of my fraction strip is, so this is where the start of my number line is. The end of my fraction strip is right about here, so I'm going to mark that on my number line. You label them as 0 and 1. So this is 0 and this is 1 whole. Okay, so pause the video, go ahead and mark those endpoints and label them as 0 and 1, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so now you're gonna partition your fraction strip, strip into halves and label each unit. So this is not new. You guys know how to do this. Split it into halves and then label the unit. So pause the video, do that, and then click play, play when you're ready for the next step. All right, pause if you need more time. All right, so in halves means there's two equal parts, so each one is one half. Okay. Now we're going to make a mark on the number line right at this, the end of one half. So one half is right in the middle, so that's where we would draw our line on our number line. Okay, so pause the video, go ahead and do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, pause if you need more time. All right, so we're going to label one half and zero halves and two halves on our number line. So this is where it gets a little bit different than what we were doing with just the regular fraction strip. So zero, you can write, I'm sorry, one half we know would go right in the middle, right? Zero halves would go at the beginning, and you would write that as zero over two, okay? Because two means there's two parts or halves, okay? That's the fractional unit. But because we're at zero, there are no halves, but that's how we represent that on our number line, okay? And then at the end, one whole is represented as two halves. So there's two parts of two total parts. That's how you would also represent that on our number line. Okay, so pause the video, make your number line look like mine, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, let's go to the next one. So here now you're going to draw a fraction strip and partition it into thirds and label each unit. Okay, so the last time we did was one half. Now you're doing thirds. You're gonna mark and label zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and three thirds on the number line. So draw your fraction strip, draw your number line, Partition it into thirds and then label all three of those or four of those fractions on your number line. So pause, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So I'm going to start with labeling um, or partitioning my fraction strip into thirds. So there's one third, two thirds, three thirds. I'll label each one is my each unit fraction, which is one third for each part. 
I can take those lines and bring them straight down to model that on my number line. Notice how on my fraction strip I have this first box here. That also is the same length here, okay? So you're just modeling it in a different way. Now zero we know from the last example is zero thirds. Thirds is your fractional unit, so you want to have that as a number on the bottom of your fraction because there are three equal parts. And the next part represents one third because when you go from zero to that first line, that is one third. When you go from one third to the next part, that is two thirds. And then from two thirds to the next part would be three thirds or one whole. You can model that by seeing this yellow line. From this yellow line from zero thirds to one third represents one third. The next part represents two thirds and the last part represents three thirds or one whole. Okay, did you guys get that too? Does your number line look like mine? Okay, awesome. All right, so now we're gonna draw a number bomb that matches the number line. Okay, so this is like what we've done in previous lessons also. So we have one whole and we know that our fractional unit is one half and there are two of those in our whole. So we have two parts, one half and one half equal one whole. All right, so now you guys are gonna get a chance to do it. So you're gonna draw a number bond that matches the number line. So we have thirds. So go ahead and pause the video, draw your number bond that matches your fractions on the number line and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so one whole, our fractional unit for this is one third. So we need three copies of that to make one whole. So you should have one third in three different parts on your number bond. All right, so let's transfer this into a word problem. So it says a string is one foot long. Mrs. Walker wants to tie a knot every one sixth foot. The last knot is at one foot. Draw and label a number line from zero feet to one foot to show where Mrs. Walker will tie knots. Label all the fractions, including zero sixths and six sixths label zero feet and one foot two. Okay, so friends, all you're doing is you're doing the same thing that we just did, but now it's a word problem. Okay, label from zero to one. You're just tying a knot every one sixth foot. So what is our fractional unit if we're talking about one sixth? Is it halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths? What is it, friends? Yeah, it's six. Okay, so you should have six equal parts on your number line. And then you're going to label each one of those as like 0, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, and so on. So pause the video, go ahead and draw your number line to match this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so we already have our endpoints of zero and one. We're gonna split this into six. So that means we need six equal parts. Well, there's one equal part. Now I have two equal parts, three equal parts, four equal parts, five equal parts, and then there's the last one of six equal parts. I would label these as zero sixths because that shows zero, one sixth, two sixth, three sixth, four sixth, five sixths, and six six to represent one whole. All right, so nice work, friends. You guys did a great job placing fractions on a number line. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.